Hello. Uh, today we are in the Learn to Code 1 chapter commands and we're doing the activity bug squash practice. So bug squash practice is um, a lot like the last activity where we need to find uh, the bug and this is a logic bug. Uh, it's not a syntax error. Uh, there are no red dots. All the code is written correctly. It's just maybe not in the right order so Bike doesn't get his task accomplished. So uh, this bug, we're going to have to find it, and then we're going to have to rearrange these commands in here by tapping on them and shuffling them around until we get bug to uh, accomplish the task. Now, uh, the task here, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, we need to collect one gem, and uh, because there's only one gem on the puzzle, and it looks like there are two switches one of them is already on, so we need to toggle the off, the only remaining off switch on, and find the uh, last gem, and then we'll be good to go. So uh, let's pinch to zoom in our puzzle here, so we can get a close look at what we have. Uh, it looks like the switch that's on is directly in front of Byte right here, and the switch that's off. We're going to have to move forward one and then turn left and go get it on top of this platform up here, right here. And then the gem, that's going to be the tricky one. The gem, if you look, the gem is up on top of this uh, wall up here. There's really no way to get up on that wall. There's no stairs or anything. So do you have any ideas on how we can get up there? Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to take a blue portal to get over to uh, up on top of the wall. And once we're up there, we should be able to walk over and get that gem pretty easily. All right. So um, let's take a look here. Now uh, it might be good to look at our code and see what's written in the code here. In fact, I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, run it for just a little while here. I'm going to run it for a little while and see what uh, and see what uh, what uh, bite will do, and then I'm going to stop it. So there he goes. He's he's walking forward, and I stopped my code because he went right past that switch. What I think we'd like to do actually is take this path right here, where we move forward one, we turn left, then we move forward one move forward one more, toggle the light switch, and then move forward again and move forward onto the portal where we can get up onto that wall to do the last uh, gem up there. So let's break this down into pieces here. Um, let's first tackle the part where we need to go up to the platform and toggle the, uh, toggle the switch. Okay. So to do that we're going to move forward turn left. So I'm going to grab this turn left in my code and put it up after the move forward. Okay. So going back to the beginning, we're going to move forward, turn left. Now we're facing the stairs and we're going to move forward one more, move forward one more, and then toggle the switch. So we'll be right here. So let's just run the code up to that point and see if it works. Okay. So I'm going to have bite walk forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, and toggle the switch. Okay, and I press stop down there. I press stop because let's see what we want to do after this. Well, after we toggle the switch, we want to move forward and then move forward again onto the portal. And that portal will take us up to the top of the wall. So uh, let's go ahead and, um, and run it again. See what happens if he takes the portal this time. Turn left, move forward, move forward, toggle the switch, move forward, move forward onto the portal. He takes the blue portal and he's facing the right way, um, but then he tried to collect the gem. Okay, so we're getting there. We're almost to the end here. We're getting there, um, but um, we're not quite there. We are facing the right way, 
think what would make this easier if we could see what byte is doing as he goes through this code. So I'm going to show you a nice feature of Playgrounds here. If you tap on this little button right here, you'll see a selection of things pop up, uh, choices. So we can run our code fastest, we can run it faster, we can do a regular run my code, we can step through my code, and we can step slowly. Um, step slowly is what I want to show you today. What's going to happen if we choose step slowly is Byte's going to go to the beginning and look at the code over here on the left. As he executes the code, there's a little arrow that shows what command he's executing. Toggle switch, move forward, and a little dot appears after that command is executed. Here's move forward. This is really helpful because it can show where we are in the code as he's going. Now he's going to try to collect gem. Okay, and that collect gem is definitely not correct. So I'm going to run this one more time, stepping slowly, and I'm going to tap on the commands as they go to indicate which ones are correct and which ones, uh, and I'm going to stop tapping on them when uh, bug when byte doesn't do what what he's supposed to do. So I'm going to start with this one and move forward. That's correct. Turn left. That's fine. Move forward. That's fine. Move forward. That works fine. Toggle switch. That worked. Move forward. That's good. Move forward one more time onto the portal. And then move forward. That's good. Now, this collect gem, I'm going to tap on there because that's not right. Instead, what he should do is move forward first and then collect the gem. So I think if I just swap these two things around, it all should work fine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag that down below there. There we go. And let's try this one more time here to see if this works. I'm going to go ahead and do it slowly again. I can watch him go. Move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, toggle the switch, move forward, move forward, Jump up to the wall, move forward, move forward one more time, and then collect the gem. There we go. All right. Great. So this was a little challenging here, um, but it really, once we looked at the puzzle and saw specifically that we needed a way to get up onto that wall, and the only way to do that is to take the blue portal up to the wall so that we can collect that last gem, uh, once we figured that out, it wasn't so bad. Um, so the other thing we learned here, two things. We learned um, to, be, again, be very careful that you don't just start you know, randomly moving commands around and trying different things, that you actually think through what you want uh, Byte to do, break it into sub-problems. In this case, we broke our problem down into first go to the uh, first switch, then get to the portal, and then get to the last gem. So if you break it into problems, it makes it sub-problems, it makes it much easier. And finally, we learned about the step slowly feature, which lets you uh, watch the code as it's being executed, so you can get a really fine-tuned where, um, where you are in the code and where the problems are going wrong. So by stepping through your code slowly and tapping on the commands uh, as you move, you can really tell uh, where things are going wrong. All right. Okay. Good work, everybody. See you next time.